What's up, it's your boy Guy Tepper back at it again with Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. Last time we did a whole bunch of troubles, including the bit of 100 trials, which led to a particularly long episode. Now, we're going to go back here and talk to uh, a certain someone. Who, me? My name is Pierre. It, I'm, te I'm what's technically called a completely awesome thief. I used to work as a geologist just researching the rocks under town, but it paid nothing. That's when Ishnail, the boss of the robos, picked me up. I've since washed my hands of geology. I'm now an amazing thief. <laughs> Ooh, star piece. Thank you. And as you can see, there's actually one up there, too, but we can't get up there. So, uh, alas. There's also a shine sprite over there, which I would like, but we can only get that by dropping down from the roof back there, which, again, we can't really do. Back here, though. Yeah, we don't have much here, but make yourself at home if you want. Where do you get off talking to me like nothing happened? Like there was no whooping. Yeah, guys like you act real cool when you win, but when you lose, you're all, wah. I mean, you you did that. That was you. This is Ishnail. Well, this is his own theme. You want something, chump? This is the Fortress of the Robo Thieves. You lost? What business brings a chump like you to a place like this? Say it ain't vacation. Was that? You want to meet that lion, cheat, and steal no good jerk, jerky for brains, Don Pianta? Real thieves like us end up poor as dirt, never catching a break because of that guy. Did you come here knowing all that? And you know that scumbag demands protection money from us too, yeah? You know all that, and you still want us to tell you how you can meet that crumb? Fine, Mr. Insensitive Jerk. It'll cost you 64 coins. And no budget on the price. Not a single coin. Inside info is pricey. That's the breaks. Forget you, pal. What? Oh, fine. I get it. Don't want to pay, huh? Fine. No pay, no way, I say. Come back when you're ready to stop being a cheapskate. This boy gives you information that is easily available online. I, you, don't, you don't have to pay him. The game is built in such a way that if you are doing a repeat playthrough or you have to just know the code, you don't have to pay him. It's not like, oh, you have to get the information here and then carry it out. If you just know the information, which you could totally stumble upon by accident for some reason, uh, you can just do it. That said, I, uh, I also turned that Mystic Egg in our thing into a Fried Egg, which replenishes 10 HP, which is currently the best healing item we have access to, aside from the Ultra Shroom, which is just silly. That said, my HP and FP are both 15. I want five more of each before I keep upgrading BP, just because I've been skimping on it. So the code to meet Don Pianta is first to go in here. Hi there, cutie. Welcome to Westside Goods. What can I do for you? Nothing. So, oh, okay. Super Shroom is here. Same thing, 20 coins, as opposed to Mystic Egg, which is, Mystic Egg, egg which is free. Full Shroom electrifies you. Dried Shroom, Life Shroom for 50, Dizzy Dial, and Thunderbolt. We need to buy a dried shroom, which you never would do, and a dizzy dial. Aw, oh, thanks, sugar. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Alrighty, mister, what color is your mustache? Well, it's yellow. Oops, oof, what's wrong with me? That wasn't the right question at all. Uh, let's try this again. <clears throat> okay, mister, what's your favorite color? Yellow. Uh-huh, well, you check out. You know the password. So, um, you have to be an acquaintance of Don Fianta. Good for you. Very cute. You can go through the door. Go on with your bad self. Before we do that, I'm here to sell that dizzy dial and that dried shroom. I have no use for either of those. They can't be used in recipes, basically, at all, so don't worry about it. Um, eh, no, we're good. Okay. I feel like there's... Oh, right. Never mind. Anyway, you get to go up this back alley here. <laughs> hey, this is the office of the, of the Pianta Syndicate. Don't tell me you don't know that. If you got no business here, scram a lamb. What's with you, wise guy? I ain't too jolly today. If you got a beef, spit it out quicker. This is gonna hurt. 
Excuse me, you wanna... You want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? See, now to me, that's funny. You a stand-up comedian? No? You oughta be. You got some nerve asking me for that. I'm Don Pianta. I make crying babies weep. You want me to run this bum out on a rail, boss? Look at him. What a rube. You must like pain, funny guy. You just looking for trouble or what? Not so fast, boys. I like this kid's gumption. He just came to talk, no? That ain't no crying. So we talk. You boys can wait here till we're done before you rough him up. You got it? So I gotta assume you got a reason for wanting to take it for the blimp. How would it? What's that? You wanna help some broad what got us out kidnapped? And to rescue this dame, yeah, collecting the crystal stars? The crystal stars? Hey boss, ain't those in that legend about the ancient treasure? Finny is such a dope. Hey boss, that's not what believes in fairy tales. Uh, excuse me, but that's not true. The treasure is real artist. Everybody just shut it. I don't care if the treasure is real or not, get me? But I tell you, I can't help but like a guy who wants to rescue some skirt free fell for. I made my decision. You do me a little favor, and you get your blimp ticket. Sounds fair, right? Sure, we can do anything. What is it? It's easy. It's nothing. It's less than nothing. See, the thing is, my own daughter, I love with one of my young associates. They vanished, but it wasn't too long ago that they did. They ought to still be nearby. You gotta find my daughter, Francesca, and this Frankie, and bring them both here. If you're unable to bring them here, then all you gotta do is tell me where they are. Then I shall settle this matter quickly, and with what is known as extreme prejudice. Boss, we don't know nothing about this guy. You can't rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, boss, Vinny's right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. Quiet, you. It's because you lugs can't, can't find it that I gotta swallow my pride and ask this guy. I hope you don't take making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? No, boss. Whatever you say goes, boss. I don't know what I was thinking, boss. It won't happen again, boss. You're the boss, boss. Good. I'm glad we're all full of understanding for one another. So it's settled, yeah? Find my daughter and her friend, then come see me. Francesca and Frankie look like this. And just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. Well. So, I never played Mario Sunshine, and when I was a kid I didn't really know it existed. Like, I didn't know who these dudes were, I, I just was like, oh, these are some weird guys. So that's why it's, that's why it's funny, because Piantas are, you know, like this. Ooh, another, wow, another one? I won fourth prize again. Uh, that's, um, that's weird. Hey, that's weird. Hey, dude, that's weird. I ch the, uh, that's weird. I'm speechless. That's, I, wow. I was like, oh, better just go get my mushroom or whatever. There, I, I don't think that's supposed to happen. That's wild. That's really lucky. I'm here to store uh, this life shroom. No, that's it. Okay. Well, heck yeah, I guess. This. The reason we're storing all of our life shrooms is because we're really going to need it for the Pit of 100 Trials. We're going to need it. Yeesh. Anyway, we're looking for these fellas who are about to elope. Here they are. Hey, back off, you creep. You want some or you just like sliding up to people? What? Daddy asked you to find us and take us with him. Or take us to him. Frankie, what should we do if Daddy finds us now? Well, I don't know. If the boat's coming any men. Dollface, maybe we ought to head back and try to talk to the boss one more time. No, Frankie, don't say that. Don't you know what you'll do if we do that? Francesca, baby doll, we can just talk calm like with the boss, you'll understand. Oh, Frankie, my Frankie, don't you love me? Of course I love you, sugar cookie, more than anybody in the whole world. Then let's go, Frankie, let's run to the ends of the earth if we have to. But Butter Biscuit, they already found us out. We can't keep running forever. We can, Frankie. The more you try to put out the flames of love, the hotter they burn. Until I marry you, no one will extinguish these flames of passion. No one. Don't you see, mister? I beg you, pretend you never saw us. Can you do that? <laughs> no way, sob sister. <laughs> what did you say to me, you terrible, terrible man? Fine, have it your way. But we won't go with you. Never. I won't move from this spot. Then I'll bring the dawn to you. <laughs> 
I have a blimp to ride. Uh, what should we do? I mean, I guess we should go tell Dumpy out of something. I don't want our luck to turn terrible, whatever that means. I will make sure that you only ever get bingos of poison mushrooms, having your HP, FP, and star power with each one. Until there is nothing left. I still haven't won a positive bingo, and it's been nine hours. <laughs> it's been it's been close to ten hours of gameplay. I have not won. I have not won a single good bingo. That's kind of sad. Oh boy. There has to be a trick to it. Oh, look who's come back. The proverbial mustache. You gonna brighten my mood? So, Gib, what do you got? You know where the whereabouts of these two are anyways? Sure do, and I'll tell you. Oh, is that a true fact? Broke poor arbor, eh? Well done. I appreciate this favor you've done for me. I'll prepare your blimp tickets. Hey, you two Nimrods. The kids are at the harbor. Now go get them. Daddy, wait! Francesca! Boss, forgive me, boss. I'm sorry, truly I am. Frankie, so, back you come, head hung low and with your tail between your legs. No, Daddy, don't hurt him. I'm the one who said we should elope. It was me! But Frankie said no. He said we should come back and talk to you, Daddy. Boss, listen, I don't care what you do to me. I deserve it for all for being disloyal. But you gotta forgive her. Forgive your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No, Daddy. No, no, no. I'm the bad one. It's my fault. If you're gonna punish anyone, punish me. No, boss. It's all on me. It's my responsibility. All the blame right here. Daddy. Boss. Yeah. <laughs> Enough. Quiet with both of you. Oh, fuck messaging. Ugh. Alright. I'll get that later. Francesca, my headstrong daughter. You used your last favor. You used up your last favor long ago. And you, Frankie. You were like a son to me. This is how you repay your debt to Badon Pianta. I feel such disappointment in you too. It's like a poison shroom in my gut. Daddy! Boss! I don't ever want to see your mugs again, you hear me? Get out of my sight, both of you. I don't care where, just go. That's what you expected me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go, do what you want, even if it means getting married. Oh, Daddy! Dad! I, I mean, boss! <laughs> Heart. Thank you so much, Daddy. Thanks for your blessing. Boss, I'll make your daughter a happy woman. I promise you, she'll want for nothing. Enough already. Just go. Go! <laughs> Francesca, seeing you this happy makes me happy too. Congrats, both of yous. Frankie, this is great. It ain't quite what I promised, but hey, things turned out okay, am I right? Goodbye, Daddy. Farewell. And thank you. Give me a fucking plane ticket. You still here? <laughs> well, you found my daughter and got her to come back here. And just looking how things turn out. What a complete nut of soap opera. But hey, a deal's a deal. You can have your blimp ticket, like I said. Yay. Udu, that guy's got her smiling ear to ear. She's happy. That's good. Hey, I know you were the right man for the job. Thanks a bunch, Bally. But I don't want to see that gluey face of yours no more. Don't ever come back here. I'm not gonna come back here all the time. Nothing bad comes. It's he's just it's all empty threats. I would love to fight uh, the Pianta Bros over there, but that's not a thing you can do. That'd be such a fun optional fight, even if it was like the hardest optional fight in the game. That'd be great. Well, we did it, Mario. We could go to Glitzville. Hooray, Mario! Let's get an email. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, damn, that was not the right one. Okay. So here, important things. Mailbox. Mario, Coops, how are you boys doing? I'm just amazed. I had no idea a mustache or a machine like this could be used to send messages. Technology, wow. I'm doing great. Drinking fresh spring water, picking wildflowers, polishing my shell. This town seems so boring ten years ago, but I see the world differently now. I bet you'll like Petalburg more than you used to once you get back from your adventure, Coops. So where are you heading next? I want to see the wide world. Son. Oh! Oh, it's, it's his dad. It's his. Never mind. I thought this was. Um, I thought this was the girl. It's your adventure, Coops. So where are you headed next? I don't want to see the 
I want you to see the whole, the wide world. Son, it'll be good for you. But don't go too far past the front door. <laughs> From Goopley. Oh man. I had the whole excuse to do the Kermit voice, but I forgot who it was. Aw, uh, dang. I tried it, I tried it my best. But alas, I did not succeed. So, I told you about these panels that you could flip over a while ago. I don't want to look for them in the world, but I just know where this one is, so I'm going to do this one. Because it's just right here, and it's an excuse to show you what they look like. See? Yeah, it just flips over a panel that has a star piece. There's a lot of them like that. Maybe off-camera I'll go hunting, or maybe like like the troubles I'll go through previous areas and try to try to get all those. We will see. But no. No, now we're gonna save. And this is gonna be a shorter episode, because the last one was an hour long. That said, yeah. Peace.